Week three of the fantasy football season. And here's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking this week. Number one, Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens. So we know he's one of the best kickers of all time is Justin Tucker. The opportunities have been there so far in this high-powered offense for him with this Baltimore Raven team. And this week, he had a good matchup versus an Indianapolis Colt defense that really can't stop anyone. So Tucker had one. Number two, Tywa Bass of the Buffalo Bills. So Tywa Bass, we know he's one of the better kickers in the league. He's got a big boot. And this Buffalo team, one of the best offenses in the league as well. And this week here, another ball game where I think the Bills could score 30-plus points in this one at the Washington Commanders. We just saw the Commanders give up over 30 points to the Denver Broncos in a shootout type of ball game. So this week here, Tywa Bass, the opportunities will be there. And Washington's a pretty good kickers stadium as well over there. So I think Bears has a good one. Number three, Evan McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. So McPherson, he might be a little high on this list here, but McPherson has a big boot. And the Cincinnati offense is due to break out. And I think this week on Monday Night Football, they're going to break out in this ball game. And also another thing, if Joe Burrow doesn't play, I think they're going to have to settle for some field goals as well. So it depends. But either way, I think they have a breakout game with Burrow high scoring. And if Burrow doesn't play, McPherson's going to have to settle for some longer field goals. So either way, I think he has a good week. Here's Evan McPherson. Over the last couple seasons, since he's been in the league here, he's been one of the top kickers in fantasy football. And this week here versus a Ram team that's vulnerable to giving up points. I think McPherson has a good ball game this week. Number four, Jake Elliott for the Philadelphia Eagles for the first two weeks of the season here. Elliott's had double-digit fantasy points in both ball games, And he's one of the best kickers in the league. He's on a high-powered offense. And this week, he had Tampa Bay. I think this Tampa D can make a few stops in the red zone area with Jake Elliott's going to have to settle for some field goals. And like I said, Elliott, the first two weeks of the season here, has been one of the best kickers in fantasy football. So this week here, I think he has another good ball game. And I got him at four. Number five, Daniel Carlson of the Las Vegas Raiders. So Daniel Carlson, we know he's been one of the better kickers the last two seasons in fantasy football. And that's the home opener here for this Vegas Raider team, where I think... Carlson kicks at best when he's home and in, indoors over there in Vegas. So this week here lines up pretty good for Carlson, in my opinion, versus Pittsburgh Steelers defense. That's a bend but don't break defense, especially in the red zone, where he's going to have to settle for some field goals. We saw it in week one with Jake Moody. He had double-digit fantasy points. And then we saw it in week two's ball game with Dustin Hopkins, where he attempted four field goals in that one. So I think Carlson, a minimum two or three field goals, we're going to see him attempt with a few extra points. And he has a big game in the home opener for the Raiders at five. Number six, Jake Moody of the San Francisco 49ers. So Jake Moody so far, we saw they let Robbie Gold go in the offseason. And this is why Jake Moody's got a big boot. He could kick it 50-plus pretty easily. And he's in a high-powered offense, obviously, with this 49er team. And this week, a great matchup versus the New York Giants coming to town. Where their defense so far in the first two weeks of the season really hasn't stopped anyone. So right now, Thursday Night Football... Good atmosphere here for Jake Moody to get some fantasy points once again. And right now, if he's still on your waiver wire, your fantasy owners definitely should go out there and get him because it's another good ball game. He's not going to be available at all. Number seven, Harrison Bucker of the Kansas City Chiefs. I know Bucker's on a high-powered offense, possibly the best offense in pro football here, even though so far in the first two weeks they've taken a little step back here. But a great matchup in week three here versus the Chicago Bears. That can't stop no one on defense. I think Bucker will get a few opportunities in this game. But I think these other kickers have emerged over Bucker over the first few weeks of the season. Where Bucker, we know he's a great kicker and on a good offense. But there's weeks where obviously this Chief team just scores all touchdowns. And he's only getting four or five points. So this week here, Bucker is at seven. Number eight, Young Hoku with the Atlanta Falcons. So now this Falcon team with their first road game of the season at the Detroit Lions. And Young Hoku, we know he's better indoors and he's better at home. But this week, another indoor ball game, obviously, over there in Detroit. So I think this has potential to be a good shootout between these two teams. Young Hoku is another kicker that could kick it from 50-plus effortlessly. And this week here at Detroit, like I said, a lot of points could be put on the board. And I got him at eight. Number nine, Brandon Aubrey of the Dallas Cowboys. So Brandon Aubrey came out of nowhere this season here. A guy who never played college football. He wasn't on any team's practice squad or anything. And the Cowboys discovered him and he won the kicking job in training camp here. And so far, so good here for Brandon Aubrey. I know week one he missed the PAT, but since then... He said eight field goals in a row, including five field goals and two's ball game for Brandon Aubrey. So this week here, good matchup with the Arizona Cardinals. I think the Cowboys will be in the red zone early and often. Another indoor game, which is always a plus here. 
And so far, Brandon Aubrey's looked good, especially in the last ball game. All his kicks went right down the middle, including a 55-yard number 10 Cameron Dicker of the Los Angeles Chargers. So Cameron Dicker, he's had double-digit fantasy points the first two weeks of the season. And this week here, another good ball game indoors at the Minnesota Vikings. And another ball game with potential shootout written all over it. So Dicker, two games in a row with double digits. And this week here, I definitely think there's a possibility he could reach double digits once again. Minnesota's defense isn't all that great. This one's an indoor game, which is always a plus, like I mentioned with kickers. And I got Dicker at 10, number 11, Nick Folk of the Tennessee Titans. And so far in the first two weeks as a Tennessee Titan. Nick Folk still doing what he did with the New England Patriots, a Titan team that can't punch it in the end zone that much here, where they got to settle for field goals. And this week here at Cleveland, I think it's going to be a ball game once again, where it's going to be tough scoring touchdowns for this Titan team. I don't think Ryan Tannehill's any good really anymore. I know that offensive line's decimated and not great. And if it's pretty much not Derrick Henry scoring touchdowns, this team's not finding the end zone really. And even DeAndre Hopkins so far hasn't looked that great in the first two games. So Nick Folk, I think we'll get a few opportunities two weeks in a row with double digit fantasy points. And this week at Cleveland, he definitely has a good shot at getting three in a row. And the 12th and final kicker I'm ranking this week is Jason Sanders of the Miami Dolphins. So this week here, pretty good matchup versus the Denver Broncos where we just saw this Bronco team give up over 30 points to the Washington Commanders offense. I think Sanders is gonna get opportunities. But I also could see this ball game where it's just a lot of touchdowns for this Dolphin team. And he's gonna have to be settling for extra points. But either way, Sanders is a good kicker. He's got good range and he's in a high powered offense where chances will be there. So that's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking for week three of the fantasy football season.